Hi guys, what's up? Um, today I want to show you the next big thing here on my terrace. Not the perfect weather for a whole day of flying, but hope to get a maiden out of this little thing here. It's the Drone Frames DRQ 250. Uh, 25 centimeter motor to motor distance little fun quad at the moment and because I didn't fly it yet it doesn't have the FPV and video on but we will see if it flies it's small quad with KK2 and you see the size compared to the Taranis it's really small and it even has foldable arms just uh, unscrew one screw and can fold it together and maybe dismount the props and have a really really small platform for the backpack so wish me luck and let's see how the maiden flight goes worked quite well I'd say and it looked like it doesn't have much vibrations so good point to start and because it flew so well and behaved good uh, for the next step I mounted the video platform which gave it an additional 100 gram or so of weight and with this changed weight I had to reduce the gains um, and it also was quite windy when I did those second flight tests this was my first round with the FPV goggles on and it was quite scary because I had the camera facing upwards and if you want to hover or even land you don't see anything and this thing gets fast in different directions so quick um, it was rather scary and I will try more FPV uh, in a more open space of course and finally hope for some racing I wanna thank Yubei from Drone Frames for sponsoring me the frame and helping me with the electronics selection and also Rory from EFPV Co. UK. Check out their webpage if you want to order this frame. And I hope you get the electronics, the motors and the ESCs because they are quite sold out at the moment of this video. If you have some left minutes left, watch my build time lapse and yeah it was quite um, some work and i had problems with the placing of the escs because it's so small and i had to mount them alternately with cables looking down through the bottom and soldering them together there not a nice solution but it worked other than that, it was quite an easy build and KK2 board is so easy to set up. Um, motors worked instantly. Of course, I had to uh, turn the directions. 
um, placement of FPV components and other components um, is not too hard. You have limited space, but but the, the frame uh, gives you plenty of options. You can leave a big uh, open space in front if you want to place a GoPro. Or as I opted here, I had the open space in the back for the battery. And in front, I had the KK board. And on top of the frame, I mounted the Horizon V3 cam which is directly fed from the Immersion RC video transmitter. And I also set up the whole thing that if you plug in the main battery, it feeds Immersion RC and the Horizon immediately starts recording, which is really, co really convenient. The only uh, thing you have to watch out for is if you land and unplug the battery before you stop recording, on SD card, you will have a corrupt video file. That's the only issue with the Horizon V3. But yeah, it's nice that you can angle it how you will. Yeah, here you see it. You can angle it the way you want. Yeah, and fits all fits together nicely here. Yeah, for steering, I have the Taranis FreeSky 2.4 gigahertz radio. So now, really thanks for watching, bye.